Okay, so this is a little bit of a live vlog today. So I'm just going to take you through how I recycle things and I'm actually going to the shop. So I will film how I take my recycling back or my plastics, soft plastics back to the shops. Okay, so with your soft plastics, you can always uh, take them back to Coles. So this is an example of a soft plastic that we have. So it's a spinach bag. So we've basically used all the spinach and now we've just washed the product and it's drying. I've also got a plastic water bottle there because my um, bottle that I had, which was a glass bottle, it actually broke. So I'm yet to find a new one that I like. So yeah, I just used the plastic bottle for now, but I am cleaning it and recycling it. We also use our keep cups, so we do not use any takeaway coffee cups. We just use our keep cups. If we are out and we don't have a keep cup, we just don't have a coffee. So if you want to take the recycling thing serious, it's also good to make a location for your recycling. So I've got a little basket in our cupboard that I use to recycle our products. So one side we use for like harder items and then the other side is for soft plastics so that makes it really easy to recycle so really good to keep all your products in jars as well instead of storing them in plastic obviously we do have some products like this one and like the flower that we don't store in jars and they just come in the packaging that they're in and we just recycle that after We've also got a cupboard full of glass jars, so you can grab any of these jars at any stage and store any food, or if you're taking like food to work, you can just grab a jar and pop your food in it. Okay, I've got a few more storage solutions to show you. So there are brands out there that do do eco-friendly storage uh, solutions for your food. So this one is called full circle i really like this bag i keep all my nuts and kind of seeds in that and um, use it as a snack bag it is quite uh, well used this one and then i've also got another brand that my friend got me recently and it's called uh stasha so again another eco-friendly brand this one has a great seal on it so you can actually freeze this one and you can pop it in the oven as well. So it's pretty amazing what eco-friendly brands are out there and what they can actually do. So that one, again, is another uh, storage solution. And then I've also got Ever Eco, uh, their little stainless steel containers. Uh, so I've got a couple of different sizes. So this is like a medium kind of size. And then I've got like a really small size as well. So another thing to consider is your spice uh, section and jars. So as you can see, I have some herbs from the bulk uh, source foods. And then I also have some from a brand called Terra Madre, which is only in Melbourne. It's only a shop that, uh, like a health food shop that's only in Melbourne. So I will need to find another solution when, um, yeah, when I move. And then um, I've got one from, this is like a certified organic brand. I don't actually know the brand of this. Love and Body. Yeah, so certified organic. Uh, so that's a good brand as well. And then I have quite a few uh, herbs and different spices and things from this place because my best friend works there and I get to try all the goodies all the time, which is good. Uh, but yeah, they're also amazing. They do, like you can go in there and just stock up on your herbs and stuff as well. So that's a really good option. Another brand that me and my partner absolutely love is this, um, the Spice People. I think their products are amazing, so you can make so many dinners out of them. For example, this is the Mexican burrito mix. And then if you turn it over, the ingredients, like, there is nothing in there. Yeah, it's just really uh, natural, and I can read all the ingredients, and I really love that there's nothing in there that 
yeah, I'm concerned about because some of your shop spices is worth reading the back because it's not all just like the spice, if that makes sense. Yeah, and they've just got so many options, so lots of different curries and stuff. And being uh, plant based, sometimes it can be hard to come up with meal ideas, although I'm so used to it now that it doesn't even phase me. But they've just got so many uh, different bases that you can make. Uh, dinners out of and then they'll often have like a recipe on the back for you which is good so I'm not gonna lie something I'm currently working on is plastics and cleaning products so I yeah I do my best so I really love this brand so this is um the eco store and their products are absolutely amazing and yeah eco-friendly good for the environment so I do not have a problem with using their products, but often like I'm in a bit of a rush and I will just grab whatever I can from the supermarket. Obviously, I'll try and make sure that it is some sort of like organic kind of choice or like, for example, this one. And I have no problem with that at all. So, yeah, it's completely fine because we are all human and we're not perfect all the time. So... Sometimes it is just literally easier to grab these products, but I do want to make a conscious effort to become better at it. So yeah, at the moment, these are old bottles that I had and I refill these bottles at my or the place that I currently work. Uh, it's called, if you're in Melbourne, it's called Love Luvo and it's a little local a shop in Seddon that you can go and refill all so that just brings me on to my next topic so if that is an option for you if you can go somewhere and refill your bottles then I would suggest getting glass bottles like these which I ordered off of a site called Aroma I'll make sure that I tag it in this slide um uh, so yeah, it's kind of been a little bit of a process. Obviously, first option is choose eco-friendly cleaning products where you can. So always opt for that first. Next option from there would be find somewhere that you can refill your plastic bottles. And then once you're finally done with the plastic bottles, make sure you recycle them. Third step would be getting some glass bottles and then finding somewhere that you can refill the glass bottles and my kind of step that I'm moving towards now and the final step that I'm moving into now is making your own products. I'm going to be using essential oils and then other products as well obviously to make my own cleaning products and skincare products so that I no longer need to kind of use as much plastic in the home. Obviously doing heaps of research as well in the products and the ingredients in your cleaning products. For example, when I chose EcoStore, I also considered, uh, yes, the impact that it's having on the environment, but I also like to consider my health and consider what kind of toxins are going into the air or yeah if you're cleaning something like what what's in the product so just know that your standard uh, products that you would get from the supermarket I actually don't have any standard kind of supermarket products these are probably the best that I've got to show you uh, and these are quite, I mean, these aren't terrible. So yeah, really consider what ingredients are in your cleaning products because that's going into the air of your home and you're wiping down surfaces with that product. So I think it's really important to consider uh, toxins and anything like that when you're making or purchasing cleaning products. So one more thing while we are in the kitchen talking about 
slowly transitioning to more eco-friendly products so i've just been using this greener baking paper for i don't know how long but i have made the conscious effort to purchase some silicon um, baking mats so they're from ever eco again and they're just a baking mat that you basically just pop on your baking tray and yeah you're good to go and then all you need to do is uh, wash it afterwards i just popped it in some soapy water it does have a little bit of like oily residue left but i'm sure if i just wipe over that with a cloth that it will come up perfectly clean but i did use that the other night and it was it was great it was like a great option to baking paper so yeah okay so that is the kitchen and i will kind of take you through a few uh like i found the bathroom and like transitioning to eco-friendly toxin-free bathroom products was a lot easier than the kitchen so the kitchen and the cleaning products takes a little bit longer than yeah my bathroom kind of did we will hopefully share that with you at some stage uh we're gonna head off to the supermarket now sorry it's so noisy in our area today every time i want to film there's always things happening so when i go to the shops i basically take a bag with me so my own bags and then i've also got these little um produce bags as well so i take a big stack of them so you can save scrubbing plastic bags as well and then this is my bag of soft plastics that i'm going to recycle at coles